Yeah, yeah no. Like, yeah. Um, uh, good afternoon. So I want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, and yeah, today we're, we'll talk a little bit about letter grades. Uh, letter grades are now public uh, by the State Board of Education, meaning we can communicate the good news about Tucson Unified School District. And at that point, I'd be happy to take any of your questions. So uh, we're, we're proudly announcing school letter grades assessed to TUSD schools for the 23-24 school year based off of standardized assessment scores that were taken in the spring of 2024 uh, in both math and English language arts. Our state assessment, of course, is known as the Arizona Academic Skills Assessment. And TUSD has demonstrated a tremendous, tremendous improvement. Uh, for the first time, I'm proud to announce that of the 83 schools that we have that are eligible to be assessed, by the state's A through F letter grade formula, 53 have achieved the grade of an A or a B. This is the first time in the standardized assessment history, the standardized assessment era, whether it was the old Ames test or the AZ merit, and now the Arizona Academic Skills Assessment, that TUSD officially has more B and A rated schools than it does C schools. That's 67% of the district as A or B rated. Uh, 26 schools still carry the grade of a C and the district is down to just its last four D schools. To give you some perspective, in the 2016-2017 school year when our administration began, we had 27 D and F rated schools in the district. Now we have zero F schools and only four remaining D schools. So this transformation is an incredible testament to the talent, the passion, and the commitment, first and foremost, of our teachers. Uh, and our teachers embracing the challenge of working with thousands of students each and every single day, who through no fault of their own, uh, come into the system behind in reading, writing, and math, behind their grade levels, and our teachers catching them up. I think it's important to note also that we've seen tremendous success with high schools. This is the first time all of our high schools are A or B rated, all of them. Uh, and that's wonderful. I wanna welcome Sabino as our newest A rated high school. It will join University High School and I wanna join Wake, I wanna congratulate Wakefield Middle School, which will now enjoy its first year of an A rating and only its third year of operation. So we've had some tremendous uh, successes that we wanna celebrate with these schools. I think it's important to note that uh, when you're talking about the school letter grades, they're assigned to schools. They're not assigned to students. I think you're going to hear pundits and critics talk about assessment proficiency. That's assigned to students. Is a student passing the standardized assessment or not? Is the student demonstrating proficiency on the Arizona Academic Skills Assessment, whether it's math or English language arts or not? That's proficiency. But is the school itself, the neighborhood TUSD school, is that school improving the reading, writing, and math proficiency levels for the students in the building? That's what the letter grade determines. So you'll hear critics say the yeah, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but the A-rated TUSD school or the B-rated TUSD school, how come their proficiency rates are still lower than the states? How come they're still at 30% proficiency for math? And how can they still be a school assigned the letter grade of a B? It's very simple. Because the majority of TUSD student body, they are in our system off grade level. So in that school example that I gave you, that school may have a lot of fifth graders reading at a second grade level on the first day of school. By the last day of school, that school might have moved 30, 40, or 50% of its fifth graders from not a second grade reading grade level, but to a fourth grade level, or might even into fifth grade level. That doesn't necessarily mean that those kids have outright passed the test. It means that that school is doing its job. It is improving students' abilities to do math and reading from the time they came into the school year, first day of school, to the last day of school. And that means moving them across proficiency levels at times more than one grade. Now, on the other side of the coin, proficiency is important. Absolutely, we do want students passing the test. 
and we're going to work diligently to always increase proficiency rates. But the way that the A through F letter grade system works is it actually demands that the school do both. And so you will also see there are schools in Pima County, uh, whether it's Sunnyside or Amphi or Flowing Wells or even here in TUSD, where you could have large pockets of students pass the test at or above the state's proficiency average, which right now is about 40%, which the state average isn't that great either, by the way. I think Arizona statewide, 40% of students are demonstrating proficiency on the state assessment for math. But you also have schools that could match that, but don't necessarily grow their lower level kids or improve them across grade levels. Those schools, even though they may have higher test proficiency, may not be A or B rated schools because Arizona Department of Education really likes you to do both. And that's the way that the letter grade formula is set up. And so what I think you see in TUSD's letter grades is a tremendous effectiveness of our teachers to take students who come into their classrooms, many times several grade levels off proficiency. The example I gave you, the fifth grader reading at the second grade level, or the fourth grader that's still reading at a kindergarten level or the eighth grader that's reading at a fifth grade level, what our schools have demonstrated is they have the, the talent, they have the resources, they have the commitment, and they have the passion to move those kids and change their instructional trajectory. And that's what we celebrate with school letter grades. And uh, we're very, very proud of what our district has achieved when we look back across the last eight years and we see where we were just eight years ago and where we are today. And we received word by the Arizona Department of Education that we are a B rated school district. So when you hear criticism of TUSD and that there's flight from TUSD or that it's a failing school district, that is actually now formally not true. It's not my opinion anymore. It's actual statement from the Arizona Department of Education and the State Board of Ed that we are officially a B rated district. So. With that, I'll go ahead and take your questions.